and welcome back to another Star Wars review by KiffFed3345. Today I got uh, another great, um, well, I got a vehicle to show you. Haven't done a Star Wars vehicle, uh, re a vehicle review in a while. And I think I'm gonna kinda get into reviewing more vehicles. Um, so yeah. But for today, I got the Clone Wars AAT. <clears throat> really great um, vehicle. Really impressed with it. Now the thing I'm not sure though if it's a repaint of. The, I'm not sure if it's a repaint of the Episode One AAT, but I'm I'm thinking it might be. So yeah. Um. Okay, right, start off as an opening like cockpit or hatch, and um. Also, you, some assembly is required and stickers do need to be applied. So that's not that good, but not many stickers. One sticker right here, and one on the bottom, right here, and right here. But yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. Also, in the cockpit, there's some stickers. But the cockpit has a really cool feature that I kind of like. And if you pr press this button right here, you press it down, then the uh, it will turn into a battle, battle damaged battle droid. So yeah. You can also fit another battle droid right here. I like the molding detail on this. Um, also, the vehicle, I like the molding, molding detail. Yeah. And also, with molding on it, it has little pegs they molded in. <coughs> and uh, you could sand a battle droid on it. Like so. So, yeah, it looks like they're charging into attack or something. Also, um, wait. Just wait. But it has a hinged. Um, sorry about that. A hinged turret or cannon on the top. And you can put in a bunch of positions, but it won't stay though. And um, the turret also has a feature. If you press uh, um, this lever right here, if you pull it down, well, um, well, the battle droid's supposed to pop out. But for some reason, it's not. I'm not exactly sure exactly how to use it. But yeah, since it has hinged, um, a hinged little hatch on the top, it can open up. Alright. Also, I, another thing I like about this, besides the features, is the new color scheme they got on it. The blue and gray color. Also, you can see like what they have on the Tridroid. The CIS symbol it's right here and right here. Pretty cool. Um, it also has firing missiles. Wait. Yeah, and the way you fire them uh, is this button in the back. <coughs> You just press down and they'll fire. And to put them back in, you just insert them. Like so. Yeah. It also has wheels on the bottom so you can make it be um, maneuverable or whatever you want to call it. And then they, um, they move pretty well. 
And yeah, pretty good ship. Okay. Here's the box. As you can see, Beldred's going into attack. Here's the back of the box. And on the front, it says firing cans, which I showed you. So yeah, um, it's and it says on the back. Um, wait. It says on the back. The marriage of repulsor lift um, and heavy armor has resulted in formidable clo uh, floating tanks known as AATs. These assault tanks form the front line of Trade Federation Armored Infantry Divisions. A crew of battle droids drives the tank and operates the array of laser and projectile weaponry, weaponry carried by the vehicle. And on the back it says, Reveal, ba battle, uh, reveal Damage Droid. Opening top hatch, rotating turret, and firing missiles, which I've showed you all. So yeah, it's a pretty good ship. Check out my rating for it. I recommend it. So yeah. um. So keep collecting and watch out for more of my reviews.